off by um detangling my hair and getting it ready to um put on this headband wig that i recently purchased off of amazon um excuse me i need to shave but that's for another day y'all so let's just pretend it's not there so we're gonna take out all the clips from this morning should be only three on each side So before we even start on my hair, let's open this wig. This is from Amazon. 
here is the brand if i like it i will leave it down below i'll give y'all my review as i'm doing this part of the video so not sponsored however the link does earn me commission so if you want your girl to get a little bit of a couple of cents and you like this you can use my link down below and that goes for anything i post on amazon um anything that i talk about from amazon you can click on any of those links and i do earn a commission so help your girl out you know gotta pay my bills <laughs> all right so it comes with a wig cap which is kind of strange because this is a headband wig and i believe i got kinky straight so obviously to match my natural hair and this is a bit long which is cute it comes with a wig cap and just this basic black headband which i'm just going to add to the rest of my headband collection but i'm glad it came with a wig cap because you know i can use that for the future but yeah I just needed a new one and this one looks pretty cute if you ask me it's pretty pretty kinky so, so here it goes and the color is pretty spot on with my hair as you can see that's what it's gonna look like and yeah it's a bit fluffy so i think the best way would be for me to just detangle my hair in parts and then um, twist them. And to do that, I'm just gonna spray it with water. Not too much, because I don't want it to um, take too long to dry. And I'm gonna just use my wide tooth comb to just get all the kinks out. And then by the time I take out these twists that I'm about to make, I'll be able to wear my hair in a more defined twist up in a week. So I'll probably do that on Sunday, a week from today, because I don't really like wearing my natural hair out at work for a few reasons, mainly because to get it in a, you know, decent manner, it takes a good 30 minutes. And I just don't have that kind of time during the week, during the school day or the morning of school. I just don't have that kind of time. So the only thing about leaving my hair in this type of style if i didn't do a twist out prior to it i have knots it's the only downside my hair gets really matted so got it out now we're just going to twist and do that for the whole head in these little sections i need to sweep this floor that's another thing about doing my hair not like weave <laughs> like braids i don't have to worry about hair being on the floor but there are so many little spiders of hair of my hair on the floor i think i'm just gonna do, just go in the shower y'all because there's a little bit of you see that that's a knot right there look and the shower would just help this is gonna drive me crazy but then the shower i'm gonna have to worry about the hair being in there again I'd rather clean the floor here than in the shower again. Especially since my husband hasn't taken a shower yet. Okay. I will see y'all in the next clip. Hopefully I won't have given up by now. Kind of like a party type of vibe. You know, we can all just mingle and gather and have be lit together. Like that would be fun. Let me know what cities I should come to because I definitely will be maneuvering for sure. That plan like a meet and greet brunch or a meet and greet dinner, like a day party, something, I don't know. At a very young age, I realized I don't care. Like I'm gonna do what I wanna do and you can use my views up, you know? You don't need to validate yourself through other people. At the end of the day, you're doing it for you. If you're living your life for the approval of others, I don't know about you, but that's not a life I wanna live. Putting myself first and being like, I don't care what they have to say, I'm gonna do what I wanna do, I'm gonna do what makes me happy, has gotten me where I'm at. And honestly, every other influencer you watch has had the same thought process, I guarantee you. Do I have a man? No. Not really. <laughs> 
a man might have me. I don't know, man. When Selena Jane gets into a relationship, you're not gonna know about it. Cause if it's like a serious relationship, y'all will probably see like two get ready with me date videos, walking blind and going through the motions. And I feel like that's why I was so depressed in college because I didn't have like a path. And the only thing that literally made me happy was watching YouTube videos, like binging YouTube videos. Just being self-employed and purchasing property is not easy. The searching part is going well. Loan process, because I'm self-employed, it looks different than people who are not self-employed. Just literally taking a leap of faith and, and honestly, I get myself a very kind person. I would say determined. Almost an hour later. All right, so I ended up adding in this don't shrink flexi elongating curling gel and y'all i must say it works pretty good i ended up putting it like here and then the rest but i did redid some of the ones in the back and added it and it really does keep it looking long you know for something to be wet because y'all know i sprayed it with water this really works i don't know about it flaking but it says non-flaking and it's flaxseed i got this from I got this from Burlington. There's a Burlington sticker. It's $7.99. I'm sure I can find it on Amazon too. But we're going to see. I will give y'all a review later on um, when I untwist this in a week. But from right now, I actually really like the way it has my hair looking. It just looks so full and like moisturized. So that's cute. So these two for my twist out. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and see how this um little headband wig is going to look I'm just going to take one of these um stretchy elastic things rubber bands not rubber bands hair ties that have like no silver parts and i'm just going to pull my hair back into a low ponytail the stretching method okay let me just brush a bit of my hair back I do my edges in the morning I love the way they stitched it it doesn't look like it's gonna deteriorate like my other one which is why I've got a new one but okay <laughs> this is definitely thick <laughs> definitely definitely really really thick but I mean it is what it is I kind of expected it to be because it's kinky so it's not a bad thing yeah this is giving big hair this would actually look really good wand curled but obviously i'm not gonna do that for work tomorrow but this is gonna be my little thing for the week while I'm teaching because I mean I'm just going to work y'all I don't really need it's just a little too dense you see what I'm saying it just looks so wiggy but I'm just gonna make the best of it can pull it back make it look a little bit more natural most likely I am gonna wear it in a ponytail because this is just a lot of hair or I'll just style it like this but yeah this is a hair kinky straight i don't know how it holds with heat or anything yet but we'll try that on another day but for now it's just what it's gonna be looking like in a ponytail like this while i go work so anyway y'all i am about to go ahead and wrap up tonight and just go straight to the shower and this is what i'm gonna be looking like tomorrow child cute that's cute it's natural it's whatever anyway i'm gonna go ahead and clean up i have all this hair on the floor Alright you guys, I will see you guys in the next clip of this vlog, which will probably be in a few days. Tomorrow's Monday, and I'm just 
going to work. But if something happens worth vlogging this week, then you'll know. <laughs>